Last week, Jeremy, I was in China. Okay. And I met with uh, uh, the team from uh, Shanghai Tunnel Engineering, a very prestigious company. They are using SolidWorks, of course. Great. And uh, this company was intrigued with the, the concept that I discovered, by the way, yesterday, physically, <laughs> uh, this concept of CAD share. Ultimate CAD share. Ultimate CAD share. And, and they believe that it, it could bring to their engineers a new level of productivity, having a fun environment, and really being able to really produce more uh, with less time. OK. So I promise, I promise the team, and one person there promised to have a tour so they could see what actually this CAD share is about. Well, that's fantastic. But Bernard, it's a substantial design. It's a substantial installation oh, of the environment. I know. Right. It's a and big so one. to break it down, pack it up, ship it to China, not probably the best way to go. Well, uh, really no problem. You know, uh, you know, you have great SolidWorks users here, and they've been using emails. They've been using pictures, DWG, and now draft site. So today, you can do a lot on a global basis by mm -hmm. connecting with this kind of media. I do understand, and we all know, with these kind of pictures, you don't really get the real life experience, the real life context. That's true. About what this product is about and how it's going to help me improve my working condition on my life. So I would like to show it to Judith Zhao. OK. Judith Zhao, representing Shanghai Tunnel Engineering. And uh, using this uh, so-called post 3D, mm -hmm. I want her to discover what, what uh, this uh, famous cat chair is about. OK, sounds good. Now let's go uh, on, uh, on the computer and log on and see how uh, we can uh, see. And you have here my personal view. Uh, you have my personal view. It's a showcase. And basically what you have here, just uh, in the back, is uh, the a showroom, and you can recognize the iconic SolidWorks products. I recognize the car. You remember last year, I drove the car. Uh, <laughs> I, I tried to buy it, but. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, Jeremy, this is my virtual room. You see my avatar. I, I hope you see that it's me. <laughs> and. Um, let me Jeremy log is into coming. This place. You are coming here. You are joining me. I'm Jeremy. in a classic T-shirt, my wow. daily workwear. So you're in the handsome suit. I can see as always. This is cool. Hi, Jeremy. Me... And you know he has long hairs now. <laughs> so uh, we are meeting here in the virtual showroom. Right. And uh, by the way, on, on your on your left, this will be Jeremy's viewpoint as he's visiting the showroom. On the center is my viewpoint. And we are there. Uh, it's easy. It's so easy and so cool. You know what? You can easily connect, and yet then you just publish. You just publish the digital SolidWorks asset that you have. You publish them on the site. You can directly publish in this virtual environment. This is the power of lifelike experience. Sustainable development is not about great products and great design. It's also about understanding in which context they are going to be used. So. Last year, I, last uh, night, I updated this great, great cat share. <clears throat> and uh, let's have Judith joining us uh, from China. Sounds good. Judith, are you there? Yes, oh, she yeah. is. Hello. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Bernard. I just log in. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> I speak your fluent Ch Chinese now. Judith, what, what, what time is it? So, what time is oh, it in China right now? My lay, almost yeah. midnight. Midnight. Okay. Thank you for joining. No, now remember, on the, your left side, you have Jeremy's viewpoint. On the right side, you have Judith's viewpoint. And in the center, you have my viewpoint. And we are going to really help Judith discover this experience. Jeremy, why don't you explain uh, the little about the, uh, the overall design of Cat Share so uh, sure. we, Judith will understand it? Yeah. All right, Judith. Well. As you can see in front of you, we built a futuristic floating office chair. The best part for me is it's powered completely by an iPhone. Okay? We also tackled adding you know, as much cool components around the chair as we possibly could think of for CAD designers. There's rapid prototyping built into the office. There's 3D motion controls built in. 
there's a switch built into the armrest of the chair that lights up the floor like you're in a movie theater. And then, of course, you know, there's all kinds of other cool stuff we've added, you know, but, uh, and SolidWorks, of course, running on that workstation. And basically, uh, the best part for me, or one of the best parts, is it's really clean. Everything floats off the floor. It's oh, amazing. It's, cool. it's amazing. And Judith, I incorporated the iPhone design aspect in the virtual model for you to try it. Oh. Look, at, look at the iPhone in, in, yeah. in the virtual environment, the lifelike environment, and now let's click on the drafting table on your iPhone. You just click on it. OK. Yeah, and actually, the interface on the phone is exactly what we have in real life. You know, I've dialed in the motors to actually move you away smoothly from the door to the far side of the environment. I mean, you can command the chair to come over to you, jump in, and go wherever you'd like in, in the, the office space. We have some pre-programmed spots here. But it really feels more like you're in a space station than an office chair. It's cool. Oh, Jeremy, what if I make a mistake? What if I wanted to move somewhere else? That's not a problem. Directly in the middle of the iPhone, there's a button which will stop the movement of the linear actuators up above on the gantry. You could also just click another button on the iPhone. It'll take you somewhere else, like the monitors, for example. Judith, let's have some fun by taking a virtual seat in the chair. And please click on the chair. Remember what you're going to see on the right, your right side is Judith's view when she is sitting in the chair. So you can really replicate the real life experience for both Jeremy, myself, and Judith. OK, guys, stand back. Let's get inside. Oh. She could sit in the chair. I'll yeah. stand behind. Jeremy, all set. Cool. So if you look, now that she's clicked monitors, it's actually behaving a lot like it would uh, in real life. The center screen is going to show you, Judith, a 3D via composer animation. And it's basically going to explain to you a little bit about the concept of this community-based design. We wanted something fresh for an office space. It's got this pass-through door concept, in, door, in one door, out the other, if you'd like. If you were to stack a bunch of these hexagon layouts together, you could have a really artistic floor plan, like the ultimate office office floor plan. I mean, imagine installing a bunch of these. You don't have to have them in a straight line. You could be pretty creative with it. On the right-hand screen, you know, we actually have information from SolidWorks directly. We ran simulation on the swing arm. We tested for things like motion factors and stress factors. Pretty cool. Oh, that's great. I think my engineers will love it, and even non-engineers will like, love it, too. <laughs> mm, I think I would take 200. Yes! Nice. <laughs> yes! That's a good deal. I told you, Jeremy, I'm your best salesman. <laughs>